Neil, so what are we doing with beer today? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bit of a shake, a bit of shake there, side burns. You like nice, it nice lines, yeah. Yeah, because you're in here every 10 days, so right. you like to have it all properly wet shaped. That. That's right. So what we're going to do with Neil's beard is obviously blessed with a very thick beard. Um, he comes in every 10 days, so what we tend to do is, because he doesn't really like the sideburns too thick and bushy, we tend to create a very sharp line through here. So I'm going to line it all up with the machine and then I'm going to use it with the razor just to get it nice and, nice and sharp through here. Again, we kind of cut into it a bit more. Because he's in here like near enough 10 days once a week, he likes all this razored. If he grows it too long, it gets a bit too bushy for him. He likes quite like a short, neater beard. What we're going to do is we're going to take it back a bit, take about that much off through there. It's not an awful lot, but we really want to get it tighter in at the cheeks through here. With Neil's beard, it's very deceiving because he's got so many different colours. It does wave through these bits. So some, and it all tends to grow here and it gets very heavy through here. So we still want to keep it square, but what I might just do is just freehand it and take it a little bit shorter just to round it a little bit through here, but still giving the illusion that it's square. And again with Neil's Tash, we just want to clean it over the lip, just kind of clean it all so it's nice and easy for him. So when he comes back in 10 days time, we'll be doing the same. Just using an afro comb just to really detangle Neil's beard. I mean, he's very good at brushing it himself, so it's not too harsh to use. Also it lets me see how the beard grows and the waves as well when I really brush it out so I can really look at it. So you can see it's like waves here, kind of waves around the chin area. Cool, so I'm going to concentrate doing these line work for here. So I'm just going to use my wall detailers for my line work. They're nice and precise. Nice and clean. Clean the ears. The reason why we kind of cut into this is because if we let all this grow for Neil, it would be too bushy. So you have to kind of compromise with how thick someone's beard is and how much like time they want to maintain with it as well. Um, so I sli whenever I line it personally, I like to slide it and then lift it up because then it just gives you that cleaner line. Because sometimes people like go down and I don't want to do that because that might cut into the beard a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> so we've cleaned up your lines through here and here. Obviously I'm going to get rid of all this with the cutthroat so it's not a big deal if I've left hair there. I'm going to really sharpen this up with the cutthroat afterwards. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to clean up this line, this bottom bit underneath. You can see Neil's got a lot of hair through here and we're going to get all that clean with the razor. As you can see this is very deceiving, this little wave through here. So we're just going to clean up the tash and so you just want to keep your eyes and your mouth closed for Neil. Just keep lifting the tash up and just cleaning those hairs just around the corners of the lips. So I'm just using the corner of the detailers just to give it more of a natural kind of finish. So I'm going to use the scissors on the sides. We're going to slightly round this in and graduate it a little bit more, just to kind of tuck it underneath, but still keeping that nice line. So what we do is you tilt the head to the side, you just freehand it. And when you freehand it, instead of using the clippers, you've just got a little bit more control over how much you take. It just grows out a lot softer. So it looks, it just kind of brings it in a little bit more without taking it in too much because if you go too much it goes it accentuates the chin a bit too much so you can just see now you can see how that's just a little bit curved but we're going to dry it all smooth once we've finished once we've razored it how's that feeling for you Neil? good thank you yeah 
Does that feel like a good length and everything? I mean, if you want to go a little bit shorter, I'd rather razor it first. I feel the hot towels will dry it all nice and smooth, and then we we'll can always yeah, check over yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. What we're going to do is going to shave Neil now. So I've just got some face scrub in my hands. We're just going to prep the skin up. So chin up for me a little bit. So you just want to work through the chin all underneath. Really work on the areas that I'm going to shave. I'm going to do a hot towel. Neil doesn't like it over his face, so we're going to just focus on the underneath bit in the cheek. How's that feeling for you, Neil? Is that good? Turn up for me a little bit. And then lift your head up for me. There you go, and relax back. So we're just going to tuck it underneath. Just get all that excess face wash off. I'm going to put pre shave oil on now. I'm just going to put it on quite lightly, and what that does. It just protects the blade against the skin against the blade. So you only want to put on the areas that you're shaving. Get a nice thick cream on there. So when I'm shaving, I'm shaving with the grain. I don't want to shave against because you've got one sharp single blade you don't want to get spotting or irritation when it grows through so I'm, what I'm doing is, is, is backhanding so instead of going down like down I'm shaving up with the blade Hello. just be really careful with the Adam's apple because obviously it's very sensitive on there going to do the cheeks now. So you do a really stretch up. Be careful not to show too close to the eye area. Okay, so now I'm just going to dry Neil's beard, just kind of smooth it out, get those kind of strong waves out. So I'm just using on a low heat low flow so I'm just blow dry in one direction and I'm drying back across it really helps to get all those kind of strong waves out okay I'm gonna finish off with a spice citrus for Neil's beard because obviously his beard does puff out it gives it a bit of hold through there as well so it's moisturizing and it gives it a nice kind of long-lasting hold rub it in it's nice and smooth all over work it in Just a little bit on the touch for you. That's the 